Hi everyone, my name is Kaz. Yes, the purple hair is new and I'm so excited to be doing this video. First of all, I want to say a huge thank you to Shelf Love Crate for sponsoring this video. I'm so thrilled to be talking about and promoting a readathon because you guys know I love my readathons. The annual Shelf Love Crate readathon is back from the 13th until the 27th of May and this readathon is celebrating the anniversary of Shelf Love Crate, which is a young adult monthly subscription box featuring fantasy and sci-fi books. Before I dive into all the fun details, like the reading challenges for the readathon, I'll tell you a little bit about Shelf Love Crate. They offer two different versions of the boxes. So there's the full box subscription, which includes a new release and a bunch of other fandom goodies all pertaining to a particular theme. Then there's a book only option if you just want the book and none of the goodies. The theme for May is A Whole New World, which is all about traveling to different bookish worlds, which sounds amazing. Whilst the boxes usually include one book in May, they're actually going to include two exclusive signed books. I am going to tell you which two books there are so if you don't want to hear what those books are if you want to be surprised just wait until the little flame disappears. So the two books included in the May box are We Hunt the Flame and Romanov. So if you guys are interested you want to know a little bit more information I'll have a link to the Shelf Love Crate website below and I've also got a coupon code for new customers you can get 10% off with Book Al 10. For this readathon Shelf Love Crate have also sent me a few very exciting things. First of all they sent me an exclusive edition of one of the books they've included in a recent box so so I will talk about that when I get to my TBR pile for the readathon. And they've also sent me a readathon kit. So it's going to include a bunch of stuff that are going to help me survive a readathon. I expect the package with the book and readathon kit to arrive in the next few days. So I will actually be including a bit of an unboxing at the start of my reading vlog. So you can see what items were included in the readathon kit as well as how I use them through the readathon. All right, now for the reading challenges. Each challenge is based on one of the Shelf Love Crate themes from the past year and all of these challenges are completely optional. You can choose to participate in as little or as many as you'd like. The challenges are number one, Written in the Stars, a book set in space, Romance Reboot, a book with cyborgs, Let the Games Begin, a book with a trial or tournament, Unlikely Heroes, characters from different backgrounds, Life in the Shadows, a book with an outbreak, Magic and Mischief, a book with magical creatures, Sibling Rivalries, a book featuring sisters, Feats of Illusions, a book featuring a character with an untapped potential. Squad Goals, a book with multiple perspectives. Warrior Women, a book with Vikings. Take Back the Throne, a book with royalty. And lastly, Saints and Sinners. So this is a book featuring star-crossed lovers. So I have put together a list of books for the Shelf Love Crate Readathon that I would like to read. Now this is quite ambitious and so far using these books I think I'm able to satisfy 11 of the 12 reading challenges. There is currently one double up but a few of the books will actually work with more than one challenge. So if I don't read all of these then hopefully I can still get through as many of those challenges as I can. Let's walk through what I'm hoping to read. For challenge number one to read a book set in space I have chosen Empress of a Thousand Skies by Rhoda Beleza and I just now for the first time noticed that there's a person on the moon. For some reason I just had never noticed this before. I feel real dumb. <gasps> we also have a map. I love 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 fantasy maps and this is only like the second or third time I've actually seen one in a sci-fi novel as well so this is very exciting. The next book I have is going to be for two of the challenges. First of all challenge two which is to read a book with cyborgs and then also challenge number eight which is to read a book with a character with an untapped potential. For this one I have selected Deviant by Jay Kristoff and I thought this was rather fitting as well because challenge eight is based on the theme Feats of Illusions and in that book box they actually included Lifelike which is the first book in this series so I thought this was the perfect book to choose at the very least for that challenge. Challenge number three is to read a book with a trial or tournament and for this I have Empress of All Seasons by Amiko Jean. The dust jacket is somewhere who knows where. <laughs> I put it somewhere silly. I actually did start reading the book and I got about halfway through but then I had to stop because I had other books that I needed to prioritize. And I did start reading this back in January for the Binary Bibliothon, so it has been a few months since I read it. So I'm not going to start at this point and continue. I will actually go back to the beginning and reread the first half of the book so that I can refresh myself and everything that's happened that I've likely forgotten, and then obviously finish the book, hopefully. So this one does include a competition, the winner of which will become the new empress. They will marry the cult prince, who is the heir to the empire. Challenge number four is to read a 
book with characters from different backgrounds. And for this challenge, I have selected The Gilded Wolves by Roshni Chokshi. So this book has a crew of characters and I think there are a few from different backgrounds. So according to one of the reviews I found for this book, we have a character who is half Algerian, there's a Filipino Spanish character, an Indian character, Jewish character, one who is half black and likely bisexual. So I'm assuming doesn't actually use the label, but there is some LGBT rep as well. Sounds like we've got a very interesting and diverse cast of characters. So I think this one fits rather perfectly. Challenge number five, which is to read a book with an outbreak. I actually don't have any books for this one. At this stage, I'm not trying to complete this challenge, but who knows? We will see where the reading takes me. For the sixth challenge, which is to read a book with magical creatures, I've selected Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James. So this one, I'm not sure about all of the magical creatures that we're going to come across in here, but this is a high fantasy and I believe one of the more central characters is a shapeshifter. For challenge number seven, which is to read a book featuring sisters, I've chosen Three Dark Crowns by Kendare Blake. In this world, the royal family, each generation has a set of triplets, who must fight to the death and the last one standing will become the heir to the throne. Chapter 8, as I mentioned, will be covered by Deviate, and then chapter 9 is to read a book with multiple perspectives. So for this one, I've got two options here. It will just kind of depend on whether I manage to read the first book at the end of April or not. Unlikely, so we'll, we'll just see how it all goes. I will either be reading Days of Blood and Starlight or Dreams of Gods and Monsters. For this one, I'm hoping to finish the second book before the start of May, but I haven't made much progress and it's quite a big book, so it's not looking good so far. But either way, this series does switch between a range of different characters' perspectives. I'm so excited to continue and finish this series, so something of this is going to be read in May. Challenge number 10 is to read a book with Vikings and for this challenge I will be choosing the book that was actually selected in the book box for this theme and this is the book that Shelf Love Crate are sending my way. Again a huge huge thank you Shelf Love Crate for sending me this book. I'm very excited to pick it up and that book is Warrior of the Wild by Trisha Levenseller which is a Viking inspired fantasy. It sounds so for challenge 11, which is to read a book with royalty, I have selected The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. I am so excited to read this book. You guys have no idea. So this one is a graphic novel, so it's a nice shorter read, which is good. But we have Prince Sebastian, who by night is known as, what is it? Lady Cristalia, who is known as the hottest fashion icon in Paris. <gasps> I'm very excited for this. The final challenge, which is to read a book featuring star-crossed lovers. For this one, I have selected A Thousand Beginnings and Endings. This is a short story anthology by a range of different authors, featuring a range of stories covering different genres and styles. And to be quite honest, because there are so many stories included in here, this one is going to be one of the books that covers a few of the different challenges. But for the purpose of this TBR, I have selected it for the star-crossed lovers, because I believe there is one story about star Cross lovers. So this, with the addition of the last two books that I don't have physical copies of just yet, is my entire to-be-read pile for the Shelf Love Crate readathon. I'm very, very excited for this readathon. Some really cool challenges, some really exciting books that I can't wait to dive into. And don't forget to keep an eye out for my reading vlog for this readathon. As I mentioned, I will be doing a little bit of an unboxing at the start of it to show you what was included in the readathon kit. But that is all that I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you Shelf Love Crate for sponsoring this video and for sending me some really exciting goodies. But I will see you all very soon in a new video and until then I will talk to you in the comments. Bye!